Well, hello everyone and welcome once again to another code on ring and this ring happens to be our final ring of the year so we've done 21 code on rings well actually 22 but um and this this ring is a beautiful ring to end on it is the ring of divinity and it is brought to you by or held together by um, the Hebrew letter Shin, or number 21. And I will show you a picture of what it looks like. Let's see. And here is Shin. It is made up of three prongs. Um, it may remind you of the trident, Poseidon's trident. Um, and it can also be written as with four prongs. But here is letter Shin. She's beautiful. She looks like a crown. And indeed, she has the royalty uh, to definitely wear a crown. All right. So we'll talk about the three prongs and the fourth prong in just a second. So here we are. Let me move some things around. All right. So what is 20, this letter 20, no, number 21 uh, and letter Shin represents? Well, Shin is fire. She is the primal, original fire that's been here since the very beginning. And she is the fire that is behind the three original primary forces or rays of creation. So this is why she is a trident. She has three prongs because she, she represents these three different elements or forces of nature. She represents the elements of air, fire, and water. She is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. She is the forces of pass passive, active, and neutral. And more importantly, she is the three qualities. She is in our monad, but she holds the three qualities that are in our three higher bodies. And we call these things the three spiritual atoms that make up each one of us. Um, and these three spiritual atoms are the buddhic body which represents universal love the atmic body which is div the divine mind or the higher mind and then the monadic body itself which is represents divine will so she really represents universal love divine mind and divine will so shin herself is the second logos uh, or Hokma on the tree of life. And that is all about universal love, Christ consciousness, Gene Key 22. And she is the holder of grace, compassion, tenderness, and truth, which are all the Gene Keys in this code on ring, which I did not uh, mention. Those Gene Keys are 22, 36, 37, and 63. And those are the three Siddic qualities uh, that are held with the, within those gene keys and held within um, Hebrew letter 21. Uh, so once again, that's grace, compassion, tenderness, and truth. I mean, what a beautiful number and ring to end on. Um, but while she is all of these beautiful qualities, she is fire. So she's not always gentle always loving, but not always gentle. So she can represent, she represents a tough love or a tough tenderness because when needed, she will bring you to your knees through turbulence in your life, turbulence and struggle. She will weaken your defenses. This is her goal when she enters into your life. Um, and she will create caverns of doubt within yourself. And she will cause you to see your own dishonoring of yourself and your path and your life. So she can be very, very tough in your life. When Shin uh, wants to come in, you better look out. <laughs> um, and she does this through initiations. Now, Shin represents the highest spiritual initiations, um, just like the 22nd Gene Key speaks about. But it's also the smaller, the small and big initiations where well, we may not see them as initiations but the troubles or the big events the small troubles and big events that happen in our life 
um, all these disrupt disruptions in her life. And she will do this when things that need to be changed, that you want to change, that you are not taking action on, that you are ignoring. Okay. So Shin is the teacher of hardship and she's trying to teach well, she teaches through hardship and she's trying to teach you endurance, strength, and durability. And she's trying to teach you how to overcome problems and to grow, to create the necessary changes in your life to evolve, okay? And she literally is the phoenix rising, okay? Um, Shin is all about the world of creation by making changes and transformation transformation. So um, all of these gene keys are active this uh, for March. So who knows what will happen? She is the transforming fire. She is the, the, the phoenix rising. So if you start having disruptions in your life, perhaps you already have, then just know Shin is working in your life through initiations. Okay. So what else? Um, I have the planet Uranus um, associated with this. The major arcana is the wheel. The archetype that I have uh, for it is the Promethean archetype. This is the one who can create uh, his own path, make the necessary um, changes in life, you know, real, real rebellious, but not a rebellious image, just to kind of uh, rebel for your own freedom. Uh, that would be a better way of saying this. So if you see a lot of 21s in your life, what is the 21 trying to tell you? Well, the shadow aspect would be um, the shadow of this is uh, reluctance to face any challenges in your life. This is the kind of person that will put the head in the sand. Oh, I don't, I don't want to see it. <laughs> um, you know, ignoring problems uh, willfully, willfully ignoring problems and simply just don't have, they're so bogged down with the problem that you, you just don't have energy or strength or endurance to do anything about it or to stick to anything. Um, the 21 may be telling you you're doing things the hardest way possible because when you're in this, this stuck energy, it's very stagnant energy at the shadow level you tend to do things the hardest way possible, or you know people who do this and they drive you crazy. Um, anyway, so <laughs> this stagnant energy, um, this lack of movement, lack of ability to make the necessary changes causes blockages in your body. So could, you could um, be overweight, but this is just representing the blocks that are weighing you down. Um, the shadow aspect may make someone feel a sense of, that they're being suppressed or oppressed. They may be actually feeling that from others in their life. Of course, those are changes that need to happen and you may just be cowing, cowing down to it. Is that the right word? Um, anyway, uh, the shadow qualities can also be caught up in one's own importance, turning others aside. Um, like I said, being willful resistant to change, resistant to authority, which I know authority is a bad word in the Gene Keys community, but like a good authority, right? A, a teacher or someone who cares about you says, look, you really need to stop doing drugs. And, you know, there's just a rebel, okay? <laughs> that may not be a good example, but you know what I'm saying. Um, restlessness, impatience, lack of commitment and mania and erratic behavior. Um, and when this behavior is being noticed by the universe and you're a conscious enough soul to do something about it, but you're not doing something about it, this is when Shin and 21 will come into your life and she will force the necessary changes for you, be it a breakup. It could be something as big as a breakup, a marriage breakup, losing a job, or as simple as having stumbling and falling or having um, I, I, one example, um, I knew this was an initiation when a huge tree branch fell right in front of me. There were some other things going on and I knew something was com coming and this huge uh, tree branch just fell right in front of my face. 
And it was so startling that it causes you to rethink something. Um, that's Shin trying to wake you up. Okay. To make the necessary changes that you are um, longing for. So the healthy aspect, of course, are all the qualities that we spoke about earlier, all of the city qualities um, of Christ consciousness, but the healthy 21 is person who is always seeking the necessary changes or transformations in life to evolve consciousness. Um, and they're looking to find their own freedom, but not freedom from the image of being, I'm a rebel of society, I want to do my whatever I want to do, but an inner freedom and an authentic freedom, a freedom that is without images and trying to um, show other people something, okay? Um, obviously, these people on the um, healthy side have a great deal of inner strength, inner fire to work through any of the challenges in life. I mean, they are the people that see every problem as an opportunity and um and their their overarching essence is they're just seeking their own internal freedom and so their healthy qualities would be independence they're inventive they're always seeking autonomy ability to change and create their own path and the spiritual uh, principle connected with this is creative freedom to take action, to carve out your own path, to be your own Promethean myth. Anyway, that wraps up the 21, 22 codon rings and the 22 Hebrew letters, um, Hebrew letters and numbers. And I hope you have enjoyed these videos and learned something. And um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, until next time, bye.